Hi, I'm live. Am I, am I live? I think I'm live. Um, I was going to do a, a YouTube video on um, flying after breast implants, but I've been thinking about using Facebook Live, so I think I'm using Facebook Live now, and I think I'm doing it on the um, SPS forum rather than on the general Facebook place. And I'm doing that because it's quite a friendly place, so I, if, if I do this badly, then... Um, we're amongst friends. Um, so, uh, the first first Facebook Live foray. This may not even be working. I've got a live thing on my phone, so I'm assuming it is working. I had an hour dedicated to do this in my diary, and it's now um, well, I've passed the hour <laughs> because I've been trying to do it on my computer, and I realised you have to do it on the phone. Um, yeah. So, what I was going to talk about is. Um, flying uh, with implants just because I've been getting a few people asking me the question sometimes you get the same question going uh, time and time again and that's the time when I think oh I should do a blog post on that or I should do a, a YouTube video on that so a lot of people are asking about flying sorry about this in my ear by the way it's the audio is a lot better with it but um, I might have to work on that if we do more Facebook live videos um, so yes can you fly when you've got breast implants in a lot of people worry about that and when can I fly well the answer is you can fly straight away there is absolutely no problem with flying when you've got breast implants in and I think it's a bit of a myth um, that there's a problem with flying having said that I always say to people if you're having surgery whether it doesn't matter that there's breast implants involved then um, you should give yourself time to recover and time to heal because you don't really want to be um, going away if you don't have to in the immediate post-operative period, just for practical reasons. First of all, if you do get any problems like any infection or any wound healing problems, um, it's nice to stay local because then it, then you can just come and we can have a look at it and check that everything's okay. If you have, um, you know, if you're in Portugal or something, then it's a bit more difficult to have a look at it. Although I, you, you can send photos on the phone and everything. Um, but it just gets a little bit more difficult. Also, if you did say you need some antibiotics or think something, it's very easy if you're in this country, you go to your GP or you can come here and we can give you some antibiotics. But again, if you're overseas, then it's just that little bit more difficult. So in the first few weeks uh, when you're worried about uh, wound infection, then I wouldn't uh, go overseas if you don't have to. If you have to, then, then, then that's fine. And the other thing is it's just going to be a little bit uncomfortable. Um, so if you have to carry heavy bags and, you know, it can be quite uh, stressful um, travelling. So again, you, you probably want to leave it a few weeks just um, while you're comfortable. Having said that, if something happens, I always say to people, if something happens the day after the surgery and you absolutely have to fly and you have to get on a plane and go somewhere, there is nothing stopping you and that is absolutely fine. Um, when I worked in the Burns unit, we often get got people from overseas who um, uh, had quite major surgery um, and they would get get flown into the into the burns unit, you know, the next day after their major surgery in their referring units. So it's at, there's no, there's no problem with with flying, and speci specifically with implants, because I know people worry they're going to explode. I, I think that's what people are worried about, or something's going to go off in the, um, you know, in the um, gantry when you get into the, um, into the airplane. But that's not going to happen. Uh, they're not going to explode. Um, no, no alarms are going to go off. The the uh, um, the fuselage of a plane is um, pressurised, so there's no problem with the pressure. There is some air in the pocket when you have a, a implant surgery, um, but the the the, uh, the fuselage is pressurised. The only the one which is more of a, an issue would be diving, um, because there are pressure changes with diving. Um, but even then, um, you'd have to dive so deep that it would be quite harmful to your body to cause problems with the um, implant. So. Um, the answer is there's no problem with breast implants and flying. I hope this gets out there, um, and um, I hope this has been useful. Um, if it has, let me know. Uh, and if you if you think Facebook Live is a good thing, uh, put it in the comments section or or, um, uh, or, or post it somewhere. And uh, let's see how we go. Maybe we'll be seeing more Facebook Lives. Maybe we'll just stick with YouTube. Uh, let's see how we get on, and maybe I'll advertise it a bit more next time because think I think the idea is that I tell people I'm on it and then you can ask me questions while I'm on it and I haven't told anyone about this just because um, it's the first one but again I could maybe advertise that I'm going to be on and very happy to answer questions if that's the sort of forum that people do on Facebook live um, if anyone knows more about it than me then please educate me um, great uh, thanks I'm going to sign off here and uh, see you soon bye